A few moments later. Huh? Okay, enough of that. But seriously, do you really trust others and give your Wi-Fi password to them? Well, maybe you should not do that because people can easily spy on you. They can somehow steal your credential and kick you out of your network like you saw happened here. All right, assuming you are connected to your network. First thing to do is open up command prompt and search for your IP address using IP config command. Look for the default gateway IP because that is the router's IP address that you would need to log into. Once you paste the IP in your browser, you will be prompted with the login page, but you don't know the password. Now let's say our target is using TP-Link, so we will Google default login credentials for TP-Link. As you can see, both the username and password are admin. Remember, more than 80 to 90% of the people do not change the default credentials, which is not a good idea. Now you know it's dangerous, you should change your default login credentials. In our case, I have my own router, so I will log in now and show you some good stuff. I will show you how hackers do that. But remember, this can be both legal and illegal. If you are doing this on your own network to monitor the activity and catch malware or malicious stuff, then yes, you can and you should do it. But if you are doing this on others' network, then that's illegal. So please take this video as an educational resource to you and do not try this on others. Thank you. Once you log into your router, you need to look for the DHCP server configuration or look for primary and secondary DNS somewhere. It's necessary to know what is DNS before you continue to watch the rest of the video. DNS stands for Domain Name System. The job of DNS is to resolve the domain name to its corresponding IP address. For example, you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. If a user wants to access the internet, it will first send the request to the router and then the router will forward this request to the internet. So if by any means a threat actor manages to control your router, they can actually control what is coming into the network and what is going out. If more users are connected to the network, that means hacker can monitor their activity as well. I hope you get the idea. Let me give you an example. If a user wants to visit google.com, you basically send a DNS query to a DNS server located somewhere on the internet and this DNS is actually configurable at our router. We will configure the DNS settings on our Wi-Fi router so we can monitor the activity. Like I said, creating your own DNS server is a bit complicated, but we will use another resource called OpenDNS. This basically provides you a DNS service that you can apply to your home network. You can create a new account for yourself here. I already have one, so I will log in and go to my dashboard. For me, I have two active networks here because I added it. For you, this will be blank zero. Now go to deployments, then click on networks. From there, you can add a network here. Click on add a network at the top right corner. Now we will copy the IP address and point our network to these servers. Paste the first IP address in the primary DNS and second IP address in the secondary DNS. Click apply. It may or may not restart your router. Now go back to your dashboard now add a name to your network and finally put your public IP address here and you are done. You can now finally see what others do on the network. Now go to internetbadguys.com. If you see this page saying this site is blocked due to a phishing threat, that means you have successfully configured your network. From now on, if someone visit any site, you will be able to see it. Now for some people, it might be scary and for some it's not. Let me tell you something, what's even scarier if I create my own server and point the network to my DNS server, I can add fake DNS records there. When a user, for example, want to go Google, they will be redirected to a fake phishing page without them realizing it. Of course, if you are super careful, then you may spot it. If you made it till the end, let me show you how you can stay safe from such hackers. Go to control panel, then click on network and internet, network and sharing center, click on your Wi-Fi, then click properties. Look for Internet Protocol version 4, double-click it. Uncheck Obtain DNS Server Automatically. You can instead use a Google's DNS server, and for the alternate DNS server, you can use the Cloudflare DNS server. Finally, save the changes, and that wraps the tutorial as well. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a follow. Thanks.